So today we are going to build a Sessions TPO template. The sessions are from uh, midnight until 6 in the morning, which loosely correlates with the Pacific and the Asian markets. Session 2 is basically the London Exchange. Session 3 is the New York. And Session 4 is a bit of a mixture of all of them. What we find is that uh, Americans wake up before the normal stock exchange and trade cryptocurrency. And cryptocurrency is also traded 24 hours, unlike the stock market. So these sessions apply to cryptocurrency. All right, so let's start building our TPO sessions template from scratch. On this chart, all we've got is a fixed profile, which is volume on the left, which shows the value area high, the maximum level, which is the VPOC, and the value area low, and that is for the current month. Um, let's see what else we've got on the chart. Let's look at the indicators. And all we've got so far is the depth of market bar bars on the right side. Okay, so let's add a bar timer. And you can see there in the bottom right here, it's counting down the candle. It's a five minute candle, so it's got two minutes left to go. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add some cumulative delta bars. So let's search for that. And let's add that. Okay, we've got that down at the bottom there. We can expand it a little bit. So again, in on the cumulative delta, I'm going to change the color to yellow, and I'm going to turn it into a line. Okay, so we've got this yellow line, and I've expanded it over there. I'm also going to add some delta bars here, and... Um, Let's move them down a little bit. Okay. So there we've got delta bars and we've got cumulative delta. The next thing I'm going to do is just put a regular volume indicator. Add it. And again, let's move it down to the bottom. So we've got a, a volume, um, regular volume graph over here at the bottom. Okay, I'm going to add a daily uh, VWAP over here. Uh, there's the daily VWAP, and I'm going to clean up all of these fills and standard deviations and stuff, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, so what I've done is I have um, left, the, I've made the VWAP yellow, and I've got rid of all these lines. Here's one that I haven't done. And this is how I do it. Just make it transparent. Okay, so I've got rid of all the standard deviations. And I've made all the fills invisible. So all I have is the VWAP and the previous upper and the previous lower values here. Okay, let's just resize this graph I'm holding the um, the shift key down and I'm pulling this up and down the next thing I'm going to do is insert an open line which will tell me the price at nine o'clock in the morning GMT which is really when the action starts and you can see here it is this blue line over here so here you can see that I've set up this uh, profile over TPO. I've put a custom period from midnight until 6 a.m., which is my session one. And then I've just gone through here and set the various colors uh, and whether it prints the uh, VPOC and the value areas and all that. It's very intuitive. You can just go through this and um, 
fill out your colors and so on as you like them so I have decided to use gold for my um, session one and I'm going to use a different color for each of the sessions so I'm going to proceed now to do session two in a very similar manner and I'll show you when I'm finished so again I add another TPO and profile add it and I am going to proceed to um, set it up very much like I did the previous one. Uh, for this particular template, I just wanted to show you that I don't have the time. Uh, I've only got the volume here. If I wanted to show the time, I'd have to unhide it and there's the time profile and then what I could do is I could go up here and I could separate them so that that would be my times and that would be my uh, volumes I have another template where, where this is shown so I don't actually need it in this uh, template so I am going to keep that hidden so I'm just going to go back to here and I'm going to hide the time. So I've completed all the different sessions. So you can see this is session one from midnight until one second before six o'clock in the morning. And it's this gold profile over here. The next one is from 6 o'clock till 12 midday more or less and it's this green profile over here. The next one is from 12 midday UTC until 8 o'clock at night and that's the New York session, the busy session and that one is purple over there. And the one from 8 o'clock at night until midnight is the Asian session, you could say. And although it's a mixture, and it's this red profile over there. So there we go. Session 1, Session 2, Session 3, Session 4. With points of control... You can expand this to see all of this uh, time point of control, volume point of control, value area high, value area low. Um, so we know that when you get to the New York session, in fact about an hour, hour and a half before, there's sudden volatility. And probably in crypto, this is due to the fact that uh, many traders trade early in the morning before the actual New York Stock Exchange opens. So let's have a look at the complete template that we've now made. We've got the um, current month volume on this side with value area high, value area low which is above here somewhere and the point of control and then we have a TPO chart, a, a volume chart with the sessions from midnight until 6 in the morning, from 6 in the morning till 12, from 12 until 8 at night, and then from uh, 8 at night until midnight. We've got cumulative uh, delta here, we've got some delta bars here, and we've got a volume chart here. So uh, typically you wouldn't only have this chart open, this chart would be sort of your higher time fr frame look and you would have your order flow um, template as your main template that you are trading from. If you want to learn how to trade from all these templates I recommend Chart Champions. I have no affiliation to them and I'm a paying member but much of what I've learned about order flow and about trading cryptocurrencies I've learned there. I can highly recommend it. Probably the best place on the internet to learn how to trade cryptocurrencies. So this is how you build a Sessions TPO template from scratch. 
I hope that you have learned something and I will see you in the next one. Thank you and goodbye.